this is the proper process for building a Rance brace. And that's spelled how? R-A-N-C-E. R-A-N-C-E. Uh -huh. Not R-W-A-N-C-E. R-H-A-N-C-E. It's R-A-N-C-E is how I've always seen it spelled. And it's a, it's a Scottish word for... For a really nice fence brace. Yeah, something along the lines. Scottish for this freaking word. Scottish for this is how we're gonna do it. <laughs> I don't know, Rory. What's it mean? Or Alistair? So what Luke's doing here is he's gonna put this post. Is what they call this. It's kind of a New Zealand tactic. So he's drilling down to the. I don't know. Probably a. 30 degree angle or something to that king post that we just drove. Looks a little bit like a piece of wood, but it's a foot. A lot like a piece of wood. This is uh, this is like three and a half millimeter. Be four, four, nine gauge. Is this still high tensile or just? No, that's low carbon. Low carbon. Stainless is really the tool for the job here, but. Good luck finding that, huh? Yeah. Goes up. Yeah, so you drop that in. That way it kind of bites in. in. Yeah. Take your rammer. Now you could probably take that pounder and put it on an angle and use your rammer and kind of jam that thing down in there, huh? Yeah, we got. If you get too warm. Wing anchors, we just slip on the rock spike. Yeah. Take all this work out. I can't just throw it in there and just call it good because then it won't be pre-strained. So now you gotta pre-strain it. This is key. That gets that point to dig into the ground. If it comes out, you done messed up, eh, Ron? Yeah. If it comes out, you did it wrong. You can feel it when it turns. Kind of 
gives a little bit. Yeah, that's about all you're gonna get. Right there. There's a lot of tension on that. I got my hole drilled a little bit off where I'm too far back, but we can we can salvage it. So it's ideally, ideally, you do want to have that wire about center of the hole. Yeah, it needs to be about, about center. Right there. That's where you'd want it to. So you want the bottom of the center of your hole where that duck bill is to be about lined up at the center of the post here? Uh-huh. Yeah. You did not fit the one that you did yesterday, did you? Nope. That's the lowercase p we've discussed. We had a phone call in the middle of the video here before, but an uppercase p will not work. It must be a lowercase p or a lowercase p. Upside down lowercase p yeah. would also be yeah. suitable. Oh, left upside handed. down, yeah. Upside down lowercase d. That's a real nice vice you have there, Luke. What's that? I was saying that's a super nice vice. I love that. It's one vice. of the most expensive vices you can get. Factory, factory equipment for the purchase of a brand new Evo. Yeah. We'll throw it in for nothing. Yep.
I'll be, that'll be all right. How about this weather? Yeah, this is like home. So you just, you have kind of an angle you're going for on your cut here, Luke? He's not listening, he's doing something. What's that? So you're just looking for like, what, a 10 or 15 degree angle there on your first, on your in cut? Uh, it's gonna be like real close to 17. Okay. You can see he's down there past the slop and he's got some it's hard now for the hard pan. pretty decent solid ground yeah is this considered a clay or <sighs> kind of yeah. a clay ground yeah. it doesn't drain out i can tell you we that. call this good bottom ground yeah all the topsoil is gone you get it yeah uh <laughs> Where we come from, this is all topsoil. Yeah, we don't have any zero topsoil here. But I don't know what you're talking about. You're talking about the good black stuff. Stuff that'll grow something. Yeah. Well, this is this would be better than what we've got in Wyoming. This is the only part about this brace I got to be honest with you, Luke. I don't like. You don't have to do it this way. The digging part. Yeah, you don't have to do it this way. You can do it above grade. Here's the thing, with an Evo 3, with a skid steer quick attach and auxiliary hydraulics on the front, it wouldn't take much of a trencher, like a 24 inch trencher. Mm -hmm. You could whip that trench right in there. Evo 3. Evo 3. Heard it here first. Oh wait, is there gonna be an Evo 3? Huh? What? Got it. Tell them about the Evo 3. Well, we'll see which we got. And then the Evo Mini Me. Yeah, I can't wait to see that one. Call it Sean King's Bluff. The Evo 1 half. The Evo 0.25. Little machine for big thinkers. It's not, the size of the, it's not the size of the machine that matters. It's how you use it. That's right. It's not the size of the machine in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the machine. We missed you. We get on to uh, some daggone uh, airplane mode, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Just keep whittling away at it until it's just right. It's gotta be tight. Can go up to an inch, but yeah, I, just, I would have figured gone in there farther. And what kind of magic potion must this be? Copper napathine. What'd you say over our mush mouth? I always say as he puts it in his captain crunch. Puts it in his captain and crunch. Yeah. Who'd put rum in their cereal? Seems odd for a non-drinker, doesn't it? It does. So that's what he used to use the, I would call that a fine, I don't know, vibratory cutter to cut the mortise in. That's 
that's how you get that tidy, tidy cut. So these posts are going in there about that same angle, about 15, 17 degrees. Huge benefits of the Nepo is you can drive all the way to grade, even below grade a little bit. 